Welcome back. It's time for our Africa 54 Health Report. Joining us now is health correspondent Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. A Pan-African network of youth leaders to the United Nations recently held the fourth Pan-African Youth Leadership Summit in Senegal. The meeting in Dakar is part of an ongoing advocacy effort by young people from Africa and the diaspora to contribute to the achievement of the Millennium Development Goals. VOA's Khalil Gay has more. 500 young leaders from 54 African countries, the diaspora in the Americas, the Caribbean and Europe, recently gathered in the capital of Senegal, Dakar, for the fourth Pan-African Youth Leadership Summit. The summit, organized by the Pan-African Youth Leaders Network of the United Nations for the Achievement of the Millennium Development Goals, or Rajal New MDGs, in collaboration with UNAIDS and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, provided a platform for youth leaders from Africa and the diaspora to discuss and share innovative ideas on key issues of sustainable human development. Demographic dividend, gender violence, youth and adolescents' reproductive health issues, information and communication technologies, and HIV-AIDS were also discussed by the young participants during the week-long summit. The young must protect themselves, know the basics of AIDS prevention, develop abstinence, use the contraceptive methods, and also undergo HIV tests. The conference organizers drew the attention of the participants to UNAIDS main goals in the fight against AIDS. When it comes to the fight against HIV AIDS, the objective that has been focused on is to work towards the three zeros. Zero new infection, zero discrimination and zero AIDS related death. But in Dakar, the youth did not only remain in the conference rooms shifting from one plenary session to another. They were taken to the communities where they could see and feel people directly living experiences related to the Millennium Development Goals. And that stood out for them. A great learning experience for me because we don't have such um, a UNFPA youth center in my country where young people can come there and interact with young people. They can go there and ask about contraceptive treatment. They're taught about adolescent sexual reproductive health. And it's very interactive and lively and most importantly, it's a youth center. So they don't have to fear that I might go there and bump into my mom. The youth came up with a certain number of solutions. The first solution has been that youth need to be at the center of the decisions that are being made when it comes to policies on the post-2015. That Faladi Gogontaljang from Botswana knew it and expressed it. African young people, I think the time is really now. First of all, we really need to get out of our head the same that we're leaders of tomorrow. We're not. We are part of the present. We are leaders of today. Whatever happens in our respective countries today also affects us. So it's very important for us to know that as part of a nation that exists in today's term, in today's world, we have a social responsibility. Khalil Gay for VOA News, Dakar, Senegal. And joining us now via remote from our UN studio in New York is uh, Dr. Jibril Jallo, Senior Advisor to the Executive Director of UNAIDS. Dr. Jallo, welcome to the show. Thank you. First of all, in the report we heard, you talked about what the first solution in terms of the youth involvement in attaining the Millennium Development Goal. You talked about the fact that they have to be at the center of the decision making. How so? Um, the discussions that came out of Dakar uh, showed that uh, Africa is confronted with a major uh, difficulty, which is really to try and continue to consult the youth in a meaningful manner. And the theme uh, in particular was very, very relevant because we are dealing with the issue of youth unemployment. And uh, today's world, we have 73 million young people who are looking for jobs. Therefore, you had these 500 youth uh, who were gathered to seek uh, specific uh, solutions, but from the youth perspectives. Africa itself has 200 million young people in the age bracket of 15 to 24. That's a lot. And the youth of Africa are twice as likely to be affected by unemployment as the adults.
So definitely the youth is an important population to count on with regards to dealing with this issue. When we look at the HIV AIDS crisis, the youth remains has been for a while one of the most at risk population. Can you tell us what is lacking in this, uh, in this uh, arena? Uh, Michel Sidibe, the executive director of UNAIDS, has put youth at the center of the concerns of UNAIDS. Now the idea is really to work with governments, with non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations, to make sure that this is implemented in as many countries as possible. And uh, he works very closely, that is UNAIDS, very closely with uh, Dr. Babatunde Osetemain of UNFPA as well, mm -hmm. and the uh, African Union. So the idea is not only to uh, try and promote these issues, but also to work and accompany governments and their people to make sure that this happens, using the response to HIV AIDS as entry point towards the broader issue of attaining the Millennium Development Goals in every and each one of the 54 African countries. There are also other issues, such as uh, violence against m women, for example. How can the youth be part of the solution in this specific the youth have been working very hard on violence against women, especially when the issue of gender-based violence is tackled. This has occupied a lot of efforts in the uh, discussions in Dakar, uh, which uh, is a good news because the network that was in Dakar has been a network that has been in existence for 10 years, and there are young people, Rojanu, that is the youth leadership uh, network, uh, who are recognized in their individual countries. And they feel that violence against women is an impediment to the attainment of the, uh, of the Millennium Development Goals. It needs to be attacked head on, just like the issue of the demographic dividend is also another issue which was discussed very seriously. So moving forward, what will be the priorities? Uh, Number one is really to continue to uh, work at the community level to deal with uh, these uh, issues of uh, HIV AIDS, gender-based uh, violence, using technology and communication, but also bringing in new elements, sport and culture. In this, campaign, in this framework, a campaign was really discussed, which was really the Protect the Goal campaign that uses the convening power of football in order to bring about prevention on HIV AIDS. Uh, Dr. Jalo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation. And uh, that was Dr. Jibril Diallo, Senior Advisor to the Executive Director of UNAIDS. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com.